I don't think you had a bottom end issue. Yeah. Yeah. I do not think, so I think you probably right could have gotten the motor running again. Real loose.
Should be a divot in the middle of it. Well, I was looking at this one here. Yeah. You see that big old right. chunk well, peeking out? That was about an inch further that way. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> seats and then lap them and put new valves in. Lock it in. So we're 
going to set our bore gauge to zero based on that. And we'll go measure each of the cylinders and just see how far they've moved in the past 24 years. This wasn't so nerve-wracking when you were working on somebody else's engine. Oh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be boring you over anyway. Like I said, it's like you're operating on the baby. Okay, so we'll lock that in. Okay. Let's just see how far we work off. And that's in thousands? That's in thousands. Where should it be? On the zero. So we're at 42,000? Well, then you gotta go this way. Oh. So it's eight. That's still more than it should be. Mm -hmm. um, so now we double check our math. Something, right? Six. Oh, and this is it. <laughs> 3.2? How about we add a 7 and 5 to it? Okay. <laughs> that would make me feel better. Wouldn't it? Yeah. You start freaking out. I'm already nervous enough. I don't need any more. Let's try this again. Like I said, some days I'm smarter than a micrometer. Some days, some some days the micrometer wins. <laughs> <laughs> just depends. Just, just one of those days. That's fine. Half a thou? So, so five so point and three zeros and a five. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna work down the x plane first. So um, x middle is half of that, and so is x bottom. Crystal. We're all point zero 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 five. Yep. Okay, y we have half of that. Okay, so the top and middle are half a thou. The bottom one is zero on the Y. Just zero? Yeah. So we set this not to what our piston is, but to what the ideal bore diameter is. So zero is acceptable in this case. Okay. So total yeah, is point zero 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 four as an average. As an average. So we're ignoring, right now we're ignoring a number. Normally that top number would be what our measured piston is. Gotcha. And we're calculating the piston to wall. Right now we're sitting on what was, so basically what we see here is that this whole hole has gotten a half a thou bigger than when I left the factory. Gotcha. It's still round, which is impressive. Okay, so cylinder two X. I'm gonna go with quarter, just make it zero. Plus no. Uh, X, first X. X middle is half. X bottom is a half. X 1,000, 0.001. Okay, on three X top we have 0.5, one, and 0.5, half, one, there was a little. Is there a flashlight plugged into that corner in that outlet, or is it? Yes. Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> yeah, just great. From this angle, it, it looks like a crack. <laughs> okay, so what we see here, um, the brown one on the top. Right, right. So that is the line, that is as high as your top ring ever gets. Right. So this section was never sweeped by the piston ring. All it did its entire life was experience pulse. Explosion after explosion after explosion so in the colors, but there's no lip here. Yeah. So on an old American motor, um, finding a field somewhere you'll feel a ring light lip on the top, where the ring ate away into the cylinder wall, wherever it's the swept distance was, and it left a catch on the end. We do not have that here, so that's fine. We have some scarring. Um, I, don't, I can't even catch anything from the nail. Yeah, so, I was trying to, and they seem so, pretty good, but then there's something right around the middle down here, right? 
yeah, like where the bottom of the skirt was. Yeah. So the smallest overbore forged piston we can get is 20 over. Right. 20 over will easily take all that of them. There's nothing deeper than 20 in that. Humanity. Oh, humanity.